Hi everyone. In this video, we would tell you how to take the VIQ online test by Vidya Mandir classes and the process you should follow to be able to give the test. By now, you must have already registered for the VIQ national test online. And by doing so, you would have received an email containing the details of your test. This would contain your admit card with your roll number and the course that you've applied for starting April 2021. If you haven't received this email or haven't generated your roll numbers, you are requested to connect with the support team or your nearest center. Without a valid roll number, you would not be able to give the test. Now, for those students who have completed the registration, you must have received the test communication on your registered email ID and your registered mobile numbers. You need to open the communication and also go through all the instructions thoroughly. The first thing you should check is whether the date of the exam is correct. Then. Check whether the course that is mentioned on the communication is correct because the link that would be shared for you to give the test would depend on the course that is mentioned on the communication. There is a link that has been shared in the communication. On clicking this link, you will be transferred to the test platform. But before you go there, Let's look at the following steps in order to give the test. You need to open the link and enter the credentials on the email field asked by the platform. And then enter your roll number followed by at the rate vmc.com. You don't need to enter your original email ID or registered email ID in this field but you need to enter your roll number in this format please ensure that your roll number is accurate and you are typing all the numbers and the text that follows numbers yourself when you are copying and pasting there can be errors in case the system asks you for a second field for a name then you should just enter your first name if your name is anuj sharma please enter anuj then you need to agree to the terms and conditions to start the test and follow the instructions to navigate on the screen the test works best on desktop and laptop this is where you will get the best experience to give the test. But in case you are giving the test on your mobile devices, you would need to enable desktop view to be able to do so. For more details, you can log on to the FAQ page to be able to see the details on how you can enable the desktop view on your mobile devices. Now you need to click on the link to be able to give the test. You would see that the test window has opened. This is the test launch section and you need to click on the launch test button here. But before you do that, you should check if the test is correct. After clicking on the launch test button, your test would load. While your test gets loaded, you are advised not to refresh the page or exit it. Your responses will be auto-saved into the system. Once the test is fully loaded, you need to click Next. Before you click Next, you should ensure that there are no programs running in the background 
which are uploading or downloading the files. After clicking Next, you will come on the Instructions section. There, you will get all the instructions pertaining to the test. You would also get to see the total number of questions and the duration. If you are giving the mock test, then you will have just 15 questions with a 30 minute duration. The mock test is meant to help you practice and get used to the process of giving the test. The actual test will carry 90 questions and the duration will be 3 hours. You can also check the other things that you must remember while giving the test. Now, in order to move to the next step, click Proceed. Here, the system will ask you for your email ID. But you should not enter your registered email ID here. Instead, you should enter your roll number followed by at the rate vmc.com. If your roll number is 102, then you must write 102 at the rate vmc.com. After doing so, you must click on the arrow here. Once you click on the arrow, you will go to the pre test screen where you will get a summary of all the sections with the number of questions on each of these sections. You'd also get to see the total questions and the summary of the duration again. Here, you can select the section with which you want to start your test. After you've chosen your section, you need to click the button Start Test. Once you click on it, the test will load. The test screen is very easy to navigate. You can select between different sections here. You can easily browse between different sections. Your questions and answers will come on the screen in this format with the questions on the left and the answers on the right. Once you click on any of the options, you can also edit the options with ease. And once you answer the question, you'll see the question turning green. As you can see, the interface is very easy after answering the questions. You can also move to the next question by clicking the question number or by clicking this button at the bottom of the screen for the next question. You can keep answering and you can see the progress real time on the screen. There is a real time timer on the screen which tells you how much time is left for the test. After you've answered all your questions, you can just click on the Finish Test button. Once you've finished your test, you will get a confirmation. Hope you've understood all the processes which are required to give the Vidya Mandir Intellect Quest VIQ on the 24th of October or 1st of November. We also encourage you to go to VIQ, FAQ and Details section on vidyamandir.com and browse through all the sections and details to be able to attempt the paper better as well as to be informed about all the troubleshooting processes and the frequently asked questions pertaining to the test. Hope this video has been helpful to you and to be able to understand the process of giving the IQ test. We would like to wish you all the best for VIQ, the biggest test of the year by Vidya Mandir.